Que la que mi gente, rico toro. You're gonna go ahead and wanna hit that like right now because you clicked on the right YouTube channel today. So, thank you to all my people that have subscribed. Thank you for all the new people that checked in. So if this is your first time, Rico Toro is about that real life experiences and personal observations. And today is no different. Thank you to those even trolling me a little bit, watching me a little bit. A lot of people watch but haven't been subscribing. Thank you, but shame on you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe now to make it officially real. So today, you may be entertained, you may be amused, but you probably will definitely learn some knowledge from some of these gems that I'm dropping. You know, I'm bringing it to you honestly. I'm bringing it to you with some humility. I'm bringing it to you just real from the heart as I experience it. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'm free at last. I have a lot of reason to say those words. Those are the words I was saying like just five minutes ago, actually, as the subject of this video has just picked up the remaining belongings she left. So, real quick, shout out real brother. Shout out Vic from New Jersey, Vic from the Bronx, down here now, uh, Louis, Florida, New York, DMV, North New Jersey, all of that, you know, um, a lot of good, a uh, lot of good uh, people I've been um, meeting recently, as well as just seeing for their return trips and seeing them uh, as they make their way from other areas of the island to, to hang out. Um, shout out to all the expats, uh, not just in Sassoul, but in the whole Puerto Plata province. So, anyways, yeah, so I don't know, um, several months ago I did a video um, called basically the dark side of the drama of Sassoul, you know, of some things here related to the the life, the challenges of the game. When you get too close with some uh, girls, etc., some of the things you won't see on a short trip. So anyways, uh, this is kind of the same, uh, the same subject that I'm speaking of in this video. It was the same subject referenced in that video. So I'll put the link in the description and you can check that out later on. Also, emails always in description uh, for questions, uh, for information non-related to this video, as well as the Cash App. Donations welcome, never expected, always appreciated. So, um, just a little backstory. Um, about five years ago, you know, I met. Uh, uh, what's a good name for this uh, this video for this chick? Consuela. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Good old Latin name, Cosuela. Dame un plato, roca polla, bisuela, Cosuela. I like that. So, anyways, we we'll say Consuela. About five years ago, I met Consuela when I was just coming down here a couple times a year, a few days here and there, and she would spend a lot of time, like half of the trip with me, more or less, and. You know, we had, had a good vibe, you know, um, you know, 85, 90% of the time, super chill to be around. The other 10 to 15%, she's a time bomb. Um, big surprise. So <laughs> uh, I'm sure you guys have met some like this. So um, as time went on, 
roles have evolved and changed for various reasons. I'm not gonna get all into that. As I got into that, some in the previous video. So, anyways, um, it's somewhere along the line, um, you know, she had lost her apartment, I think. You know, I'm gonna use some names and places to protect people's identity that aren't actually accurate, but we'll say she lost her apartment in La Vega. And um, so she wanted to come back to Sasua's. Things started popping again, try to do what she had to do to get a new apartment. Okay, um, and you know, I don't, I don't contribute to her business in that way. Like I say, our, you know, roles have changed. I've been, ever, I've been, you know, couldn't be called anything from a, a client to a novio to, um, you know, to an amigo and how, and dare some people even, you know, said I was her chulo. So, Anyways, all that aside, she's she's back, um, and you know after after a couple of weeks, a little bit, you know she wanted to stay at my place a couple of days. All right, no big deal. Next day, you know, and you know I think a lot of it. She wanted to use the laundry facilities here that the staff uses, that the people that maintain apartment use for some things. So she did that and it was a lot of clothes and you know, I didn't, I, you know, shame on me. I humbly admit, I didn't see all this coming. And so um, next thing you know, she's got a whole lot of stuff here and it's like she moved in. And you know, one of the things I pride, I pride myself on, I talk a lot of trash sometimes about how I can break all the rules, break all my own rules, and recover so quickly. Nobody else can do it how I do it, blah, blah, blah. I pride myself a lot on how I manage my relationships and how I manage my drama, you know? And I'm coming at you like from my heart, like letting you know this was one of the cases where I almost lost. And so, then and then you know in the process she's looking at apartments she's going to different areas um you know in the puerto plata she's going back and forth to santiago looking for apartments for a day or so you know i'm like okay hopefully find something soon or whatever and you know i'm hearing of this word guarantor which is like co-signer that's needed well she didn't ask and i would certainly not volunteer that to do that for someone so Anyways, she's got her, her money saved up. Um, she's handing me money to put in my safe for her, you know. And, and so, you know, honestly, that's how I know so many guys out there are spending or giving U.S. dollars. Because I don't count another man's money. But if I'm held accountable and responsible for it somewhat, I have to count another man's money. So, anyways, she's... You know, this process is taking a little long. And then we start like, you know, she's staying with me, but I'm not having sex with her because I'm really not interested in it. You know, I have enough options and enough fun elsewhere. And I wanna be separate from what she does, you know, to do what she has to do. So, you know, things just started getting gradually, as you know, like when you're used to living alone, just a little more tension in the household. At first, this was benefiting me kind of equally, uh, you know, cooking, the cleaning, running my errands, handling some business for me, you know, without a hitch. So I appreciated that. And then, um, you know, like I say, little things just started getting like, you know, a little more tension, like stupid stuff. Like, like if I was out running errands and she was out, but, you know, it was, trying to come back here, you know, she would assume that I was here all the time because I am a lot during the day. But sometimes I do step out to the gym, the barber shop. You need to go today, by the way. Anyways, you know, to the store or whatever. So she would be out there ringing the bell, the buzzer, you know, blowing up my phone, which 
I don't have Wi-Fi everywhere I go. Sometimes I leave the phone in the house. I'm not like attached to my phone like some people 24 seven. And sometimes she'd be ringing the neighbor's bells, sometimes banging on the door loudly, just becoming a nuisance and, you know, uh, showing a strong lack of consideration for my neighbors. So, and I only have five neighbors, you know, it's a small boutique apartment. So, you know, other day, another day she, you know, I, I was always tell her like, like when she would go somewhere, you know, to the beach or whatever, she'd be out. I say, okay, I got plans at 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. You know, I would let her know like when I'm doing stuff like, don't be here then, you know, <laughs> or you can't be here this night because I got plans. And sometimes she would respect that, other times not so much. It would be almost like on purpose, on purpose, you know, sometimes uh, like my girl would be late <laughs> and the Amiga Consuela would be, you know, somehow time it to where they're both coming in the gate almost. and. She would just, well, they, they never ran each other like that. Um, I did introduce them though, eventually. It's another story. So, you know, she's like, you know, at times waiting down by the, in front of the pool for like a couple hours while I'm, you know, entertaining company upstairs. And so I'm, you know, like one day I'm mad at my girl for being late. I'm mad at Consuela for screwing up the time and stuff. And she's like, blah, 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 what's the big deal? I'm by the pool, whatever. I said, well, the truth is, you know, all this arguing, all this, um, all this tension or whatever over like just respecting my time and my space, etc. I don't function that well. A lot of us don't. Let's be real. Sometimes some little outside stress, you know, especially if you're over 40, 50 like me. Things throw off our mojo. So I'm like, this can't be happening. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, um, you know, at some point, well, okay, a couple of, um, you know, a couple of my regular friends, they're aware because this is not the first time that Consuela has stayed a little bit here, but you know, like I say, usually be two or three days and then I'd not talk to her for like a month. Um, but, you know, so some some friends that I've dealt with a while, they know her, not, they don't know her and have made the connection. But at some point, you know, I've had to explain at various times to some of the same friends, like, yes, this is why there's some panties hanging in my shower or some, uh, you know, female uh, toiletries, hygiene products, you know, on the shelf. It's right now I'm helping out Consuela. And so, you know, um, you know, actually, shout out to all the Aquarius, by the way, February birthdays, much love. So, you know, um, so like I say, she went to couple times different apartments I know I'm all over but just you're gonna you're gonna get the you're gonna get the dimes in a little bit you're gonna get the gems so um I actually had when I had my um my party for my birthday you know because of the relationships if you will you know it was only natural that they both came so this was the time that I had to be a gentleman and just introduce them and many of you guys that have seen me in person, while a lot of this is going on, you've, you've sat next to me at the bar and I've told you a lot of this going on. So it's not news to you, uh, you know, but, but I told you guys this should make a good video by the time the time is right when she is out. That's why I didn't post anything for like a week because you know, the last stress that I've been going through with changes at work and getting her out of here, kind of took its toll on me. So at the party, they're sitting side by side and I'm thinking this might be a good thing. You know, they're each, they're each at some point gonna start stalking smack about me maybe, you know, and 
and then I'm gonna start hearing it from in each ear in the days coming. This one was throwing you under the bus saying this about you. This one said, you ain't you ain't nothing, you ain't shit, Rico. And, but none of that really happened. There was no, no drama there. So, um, you know, um, one of the things, like I say, I had put a video out about guys giving these severance packages and putting girls in apartments and co-signing and, um, you know, giving them stimulus packages to move on with their life, severance packages, whatever you want to call it, just to get rid of them. And I preach firmly against that. But the reason why I'm so humbled by this is I was a little bit on the fence, like I might become one of those guys that I spoke of. So, um, you know, the the stuff was really hitting the fan, like, you know, last couple of weeks. I mean, we had stupid arguments, like, um, like uh, one day she thought she secured an apartment in Puerto Plata, uh, but the next day she called to set up a time to sign a contract. And she goes from zero to 120 on the guy and he's keeping his cool and he hung up and blocked her and then she asked to use my phone and she calls him right back and he says like three words and she gets she goes off again just lost it completely and i'm basically trying to tell her calmly you know <laughs> like uh like you know you should put your pride aside and stop trying to worry about who's right and wrong and think about what the ultimate goal is. The goal is for you to get an apartment and more importantly, leave. Uh, so, you know, remember that, that's one lesson. Sometimes you have to put your pride aside. Don't, it's not about who's right or who's wrong or who's the good person, who's the bad person. It's about doing what you need to accomplish the goal at hand. You know, we all have to like take a step back and you know, keep the peace to just to get to where we need to go at that moment, especially if it means getting out of my house. So, um, uh, I like, I wouldn't rent to you either because you're an asshole, you know, coming off like that is basically how I was. Uh, so, um, and then, you know, so, um, you know, then it come down to, you know, friends of mine, I'm telling them I'm going through this some friends here. And they try to tough talk stuff like, like, bro, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Just, just carry her, throw her over the fence, throw all her shit in the street and just move on with your life. You don't have to deal with that. Blah, blah, blah. All this tough talk. So I'm like, so I'm like, and then, you know, I can saw like another friend. He's like, no, you have to be real careful because it's so easy for them to like go to the police. You know, it's, you know, um, you know, and then, um, you know, my landlord said the same thing. My landlord is Dominican. And he says, you know, when it comes to women, they protect them very closely when it comes to these matters. As soon as you go putting somebody's stuff on the street or throwing them out the window, you know, or whatever, um, you know, it's really easy for them to go to the police, say you hit them or, or something, and then you're in the system. You know, he said, because I basically, you know, it was real hum, it was real humbling for me to ask for help, you know, um, sometimes. So, because I asked him, you know, because he had to come fix, fix my kitchen sink. So I asked him, I said, oh yeah, I'm trying to get rid of Consuela. I'll give you a hundred dollars extra rent this month if you come here and get her out. So he was telling me, no, y'all just have to talk, try to work it out civilly, and hopefully she'll go in peace. You know, otherwise, I'll give you the number to the municipal. You can call, set up an appointment, and try to deal with them. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I used to watch cops. I don't know what the Dominican squatter's rights are, and I don't really didn't want to find out the hard way. But in many parts of the United States, you know, if you got a cousin, an ex-girlfriend, your homeboy, you know, uh, staying on your couch for two or three days, well, they come Friday let's say, long weekend, you know, after Monday, they got rights. They've established tenant rights, even if they're not paying nothing. And it's, and even if you call the police, the police will say, 
it's not a criminal matter, it's a civil matter at this point. You have to go down to the clerk, the court, and file a complaint, you know, and it's, it's like a, they have like 30 days rights basically to squat. And like I said, I didn't want to find out a hard way what the Dominican squatter rights are. So that's another thing, you know, you got to keep your cool in these cases and just try to resolve them peacefully, you know. Um, you know, some time back, she was really trying to sales pitch me like to be like the rescue guy at Novio or something saying, you know, we'll get an apartment in Santiago or Santo Domingo or, you know, or somewhere outside of this area so she could have a more normal life and blah, 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 not have to, and, and you know, um, here's the thing about these kind of things, you know, you could take them, you could take many people away from their environment, but that doesn't necessarily change who they are, all their characteristics at their core. Like, like, okay, I would, you know, maybe the 85 to 90% real chill cupcake kind of princess, maybe she is that 95% of the time if we get her out of the environment. But that other 5%, of those hardcore, you know, just fiery demons and issues and baggage deep in her soul. That stuff can't be cleansed overnight just by changing the zip code or the province. You know, that stuff that none of us probably on this video are qualified to diagnose or treat. And that's where a lot of guys make the mistake, thinking that they can remove them from the from the environment, and they'll be a, and they'll get all the sweet love and affection and companionship and home cooked meals, foot rubs, and all the gravy and goodness. And because they're in a new environment, they won't get any of the ill, any of the ill, any of the demons. And nothing could be further from the truth. And I, I just I think that's women in general, not just women, but people, people in general. You know, it, you know, some there's some demons and some baggage and things that people have so deep inside them that you can't change it just by changing their environment. And some guys, it's worth the risk. Me, you know, if I got to think too much about it or, um, you know, second guess myself too much about things when it comes to relationships, I don't need it. You know, you got to take a. Uh, you got to take the situations that bring you less aggravation, you know, to where, and, you know, so, so admittedly, like I wasn't really myself for a couple of weeks, you know, as I was going through this. And I always preach that, man, control your own happiness. If you wake up, if you wake up, especially here, if you wake up and you're not happy one day, something's wrong because most things you could you could change or incorporate in your life or get rid of some trash in your life really quickly and be right back on track right away. You have that kind of control over your happiness here. So, um, you know, like I heard a funny story last night about um, a guy that's, you know, contemplating getting married to his favorita and you know, I think the guy is Dominican from the, the States though. And I think it might be a situation where because he understands the language fluently, he might, it might be working against him because that means every time there's something emotional, you know, or some drama or some, he understands everything she's saying and he's feeling sympathetic to, you know, her, uh, her words rather than me i'm sometimes glad i don't understand like i'm glad whatever you're talking about is deep and i'm glad today i don't understand because if it means more stress or sucking me into a uncomfortable place and i don't want to be it's better not to understand something so anyways man hope y'all enjoyed hope y'all learned some things from this you know um you know don't let anybody the best thing to do don't let anybody stay with you for any amount of time that doesn't already have their own place or their own life. 
You know, if, if you have a woman that has kids in Puerto Plata or another area and a grandmother or her own apartment somewhere to go to sometimes, that's the best situation. But if they're just lurking around, you know, the only thing, you know, never go further than other than a Chica hotel and a Gringo's a hotel or villa. If that's all they got, but no family or nothing that they regularly try to get to or another place they try to get to, you know, you don't want to deal with them because, you know, they'll be they'll be squatters like I experienced, you know, and, and um, you know, that's what I liked about Con Consuela for the most part. She always had an apartment that she liked in a city that she liked to go to and get away from here. Um, so, you know, I can't you know, I can't say that enough, man. Um, so there it is. There's more, there's more C, there's more, but I don't want to keep you all, all day, but I do appreciate you. Go ahead. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Be well, y'all. Peace.